Okay, apologies for all the noise pollution, but um, today's daily message is a good one. So it's very important to get clear on what it is you want, what it is you need, um, because there is profound healing coming through here and balance being achieved especially if you are able to be vulnerable enough to let go of all the things that hold you back. Um, there are two or actually three yeses coming through in today's daily message. So take that as a sign for whatever you need an answer to when it comes to yes and no. Yes is the answer. Doubting yourself is not the answer. <laughs> But there's lots and lots of yeses. There are two sun cards coming here, and then there's a literal yes card. Um, there's also the eight of cups. So that talks about not only walking away from what doesn't serve you, but it talks about the ending to a situation, like um, like what it's, what's it called, like a graduation ceremony. It can talk about um, just shifting in your life, pivoting. It can talk about uh, moving beyond certain constructs or concepts into a new perspective, into a new way of being. Um, so with the Eight of Cups, especially paired with Temperance coming through here, um, and the Lovers, which presents a choice, and that is also being followed up from yesterday, the Lovers was also present. Um, I think that today is a day for you to move beyond indecision and to move beyond like a disorganized feeling that has you feeling like you need to be involved in many different things in or keep your options open or you know always have something you know up your sleeve in order to feel secure or prepared this is talking about finding stability and finding comfort and finding home and security in a solid grounded decision that you can grow within something that can achieve legacy something that can be built upon um, rather than having to be the jack of all trades deciding to master you know one or two you know deciding to get specific about your life and specific about your path and doing that with intention this is also about finding with the lovers here um, and the yes card and the sun card this is also about finding something discovering a path that is really meaningful to you and that you are deeply connected to. This is about finding something that is truly in alignment with your soul, with your spirit, with what it is that you would feel best doing on this planet. This is about finding something or someone who truly matches you, that's a true match to you, that is truly fulfilling, that truly sees you and is able to help you grow not just as an individual but as a contributor as someone who is of service there's um there is a collaboration coming through here and it is one that is strong one that is probably destined also with the temperance card and then all of these yeses and one that can help you achieve great heights if you are willing to commit to the process and let go of all the other things you know because this is something that probably requires your attention and your commitment um, I really do think that the unknown is being revealed at this time. I don't think you're going to be left in the unknown for much longer. If you are still in it, there's a lot of light coming through. There's a lot of vision coming through, higher vision, higher perspectives. Um, I really think that you are rising above it all. You are rising above the muck. You are rising above your subconscious or what's in your subconscious is coming up to the surface and getting into a higher vision that is helping you truly clarify what it is that you're meant to be doing here. Um, there's a lot of leadership coming through, a lot of um, boss energy um, and bold energy, strong, confident, brave energy, energy that is very mature and not afraid of commitment. Once again, not afraid of commitment, not afraid of hard work and interested in building a legacy that they can stand upon as well as their descendants. Sorry, my nose is just, yeah. But um, you've got some ideas here that are very powerful. If this is just an idea, they're powerful. And this is a business idea that could go far. Um, if it's something like that, like for entrepreneurs, if not, there is like there are people coming to you with offers or the, um, or there are offers on your plate. There is potential in the air and it's not just potential. You know, there's always potential around. But this is something that is 
truly uh, going to help you become more magnetic in your life for the things that you really desire and that really desire you from a higher perspective. This is moving beyond, you know, our childish notions of what is a beautiful life and what is a dreamy world and moving into the reality of what your soul truly wants to experience down here and also what would be most beneficial for you as a human being to experience in this life what will make you the most successful there's an opportunity to be opened up to a true true union and true harmony with your life um and and some endings will happen just because of that but there is an immediate clarity like following that with that wherever there is an ending there is an immediate progression there is an immediate shift into high gear into joy into fulfillment into um leadership and enlightenment enlightenment is also something that is truly here um but this is super super positive so act with confidence today move through the energy with confidence today take your time but um appreciate what you have because what is coming forward right now in this reading is a really beautiful really strong energy that's kind of like a wish you know it's kind of like a dream come true in terms of this amount of clarity and I really think the moon has been helpful in bringing this forward from the full moon to the new moon and the days in between. I really do believe that there is a generous, loving, um, shape-shifting energy here that can be world-changing for all of us. Um, yeah, the political perspective, the political perspective of something like this. Uh, let's see. I think the political perspective is asking you today to figure out what you really need, figure out what you really want, figure out what's really important to you, what truly makes you feel abundant. If abundance was existing in a world where there was, it wasn't a capitalistic world, it wasn't a world that was dominated by money, what would it mean to be abundant? You know, if all of those things were solved, if everybody in the world had all the money they could ever need, what would you be doing? what problems would still exist and how would you be solving them you know because there's certain things where it's actually not about money you know there's something deeper that's happening in society that is causing these rifts or causing this pain and these oppressions oftentimes the money is just the vehicle but there's something greater going on how can you help to bring healing to those situations there's a lot of healing here um and i think that a lot of us are getting clarity so being honest about what you see what do you notice? What are you feeling? Don't hide those feelings away because maybe they go against your plan or go against the vision that you want for your life. If you see yourself truly wanting partnership, but you're trying to be independent right now, open yourself up to partnership because you don't know how that independence can build from that union. They're not separate things, you know? Everything can actually all exist at once, it, it does and you can have your cake and eat it too especially when it's in alignment with serving the higher and greater good of everybody involved um i think there's also just an energy of like getting out there getting out into nature appreciating your time in the sun appreciating your time with the earth um and yeah a lot of leadership don't be afraid to be a leader don't be afraid to stand up and um act with clarity and move from a higher power don't be afraid to be guided um yeah there's a lot of bold and courageous energy coming through here um and trusting yourself trusting your vision and be committed to the path be committed to your politics be committed to your values and your perspectives don't hide from them you know it's okay to have a strong belief and to be moved by that and it's also okay to let go of beliefs that, you know, you feel like are what you should believe in, but they're just too much to handle and there's only a few things that you actually can commit to. That's fine. Do what you can commit to and focus on doing that very, very well. Because there's so many people on this planet, everybody can do something different and everybody can handle. We can all solve all of the world's problems if we just focus on our specific task. Um, yeah, but this is beautiful, beautiful energy. A lot of enlightenment, a lot of joy coming through here, and a lot of nurturing and comfort and union if you allow it. So love is revolutionary. 